don't just want to embark on a journey where we're offering theory and concepts and we're sharing technique. We actually want to impart the tools that students can implement in their lives so that they can be successful, they can build careers, and move into a place in their life of right livelihood. We focus on design. When you see a pattern in nature, it's almost always nature's way of solving a design problem. We go everywhere from drafting, site assessment, concept design, master planning, presentation styles, surveying, creating topo maps, operating laser levels, using drafting skills. Uh, this is a, our whole design suite that you learn here at the Permaculture Skill Center during the ELI program. We have an incredible focus on water. What are the criteria of success that you evaluate the efficacy, right, of your design? And I think that Luna Leopold here, this idea that the health of our waters is the principal measure of how we live on the land, for me is pretty much sums it. We look at how do we harvest water, roof catchment, harvesting in the landscape, key line design planning, gray water, bioremediation. How do we change our relationship to water to get the capital that water brings us, which is life, which is nourishment, which is a vegetated, healthy planet? We look at soil and soil fertility. How do we manage our soil ecosystem, this organism that's under our feet at all times, that is providing the vital nutrients and minerals needed to grow our food, to grow our fiber, to grow our fuel. And so students of this program had an opportunity not only to learn the concepts behind soil fertility, but actively implement things like cover cropping, building compost, compost tea, sheet mulching, plant communities that build soil, and a whole host of understanding of how do you treat soil, how and when, what activities do you do in the right season. Plants. They may want an ornamental landscape, but they at the very least got an organic, ultra clean habitat, nitrogen fixing, somewhat self-supporting landscape, even if they just wanted something that looked pretty. We learned everything about plants. How do you build community with plants? How do you heal the soil with plants? How do you clean water with plants? How do we set up perennial food production for the future generations? We don't just talk about this stuff in the program. We design them, we plan them out, we implement them, we watch them grow, we maintain them. And really think about the multi-generational food production, multi-generational medicine production, multi-generational fiber and fuel and weaving. Animals. We talk about animals from the point of view of small scale of relationships with animals. We also look at the holistic management aspect of working with animals. How do we heal broad acre landscapes, hundreds of acres of land, through the rotation of animals and that relationship to managing grasslands and managing pasture. If you're a cow or a deer, you have this whole diverse food forest with all these different layers and that's what we're really working towards. We want to have as many species that we can in you know, one, one square foot. We don't want to see one species uh, dominating. One of the foundational aspects of this program is the business track. Our, our whole design is based on very small businesses, but you can scale it up. And it, it is corporate because guess what? Corporations are really good at getting shit done. Being able to communicate with people, especially people that are paying you money and don't agree with you, it's a skill. Be self-critical, take responsibility, don't make excuses, immediately assume responsibility for your mistake to yourself and to the client. I realized I had to make money. And then so so Penny taught me about transitional ethics and then all of a sudden I saw it. I saw my mechanical background and my like I'm passionate about the built environment and I saw all of a sudden I'm like, oh that's 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 suburban permaculture. There it is. And so then and I saw a fantastic money making opportunity as well. Community building. All right. In applying this whole permacultural design stuff, 
to communities and with communities to really build the capacity of communities to design their own solutions for themselves with the assumption that you know people know what they need the, the most they know their space is the best um, and there's multiple uh, benefits from a community doing it for themselves besides just you know having a really awesome design that they're super stoked on but all the things that go into making that is a strengthening process um, for for that community and this for us as a whole for, is each community that becomes more uh, resilient stumps then I think helps everybody else. Uh, you know, mostly what, what we're going to be doing right, is retrofitting the, uh, the world that we have, all the suburban homes and you know all the stuff that's out there. So there's so much opportunity to do that for people who want that. And you know, every day there's more people who are like, oh wow, I could catch water, I could do this, and I need someone to help me to do it. And so, um, so you know, this course is really helping you be their guides for that. What you folks are doing here is uh, leading the vanguard of uh, a new direction that is ultimately sustainable and that respects nature and biodiversity and it really preserves the ecosystem for, for, for future generations. You know, it's not ours to steal from our, from our descendants. That's just not right.